When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. This video, called Fine Print, may help you to understand that new gadget that you just purchased. Ah, oh, here you are with a bright new shiny gadget. You look it over, all the bells, buttons, and whistles, but you have no way how to run it. Ah, oh, here's a user's manual. Unfortunately, it's a micro manual, 2 by 3 inches. And even if you hold it up to your face, you can barely read it. And sometimes you might even have a quick start manual, but you got to take out the magnifying glass and you still can't read it. A more senior friendly way of doing that would to be look for very closely on the manual or the device itself and find the model number. Take that model number, write it down, and when you have it written down, then you go for the next step. On your computer, open up a search engine, either in your Macintosh or your PC, and start typing in the model number of the product that you have, and then add either user's manual or owner's manual at the end of it. Once you've gotten that typed in, go ahead and click on the enter key. This will take you to the search results. Look for one that has a PDF in it. PDF is for portable document folder. Also, you might find some videos that would be very helpful. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and open up that PDF. PDF is the one file that you can read on virtually any machine without having to have Microsoft Office installed. Now notice on up here you have a plus and a minus. You can make this as large as you want for those tired senior eyes to be able to see. In the upper right hand corner, click on the download button. When the window opens up, click on open with Adobe Reader and then the OK button. If you don't have Adobe Reader, go to getadobe.com forward slash reader. Once your file opens, you can now scroll up and down and look through the pages as often as you want. If you want to save it for future reference, go up in the left hand corner under File, Save As. And when the dialog box opens up, you want to save it first to the desktop. You always save it to the desktop, that way you can find it. And go down where the name is and you want to name it something that's relevant so you'll be able to find it again highlight it and type in the correct wording once that's done then go down and hit your ok button now it will save it to the desktop you can have it for future reference and look at it as often as you need i hope this video was helpful for you and a future video I plan on showing you how to create a folder to hold all your users manuals. So now take that micro manual, either throw it in a recycle bin or give it to your 12 year old grandchild that can actually read the thing. I hope senior sizing your users manual will be helpful to you and you can be able to read them in the future. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, hit the like button if you liked these videos. Thank you again, and I hope to see you soon. Remember, our generation is the movers and shakers. Bye for now.